Hey guys, Final Master Link here. Actually, have a guest, Funky. Uh, I wanted to talk about the some PS1 classic since you know we're both gamers. Got I think he's a little bit older than me, so he probably has a little bit different perspective on this. But for me personally, this console is pretty damn nostalgic. It was my first home console as a kid that I had. My first actual console was a Game Boy Color, but this you know really brings back the memories. You got any yeah. good got any good memories about the PS One? Yeah, I definitely do. Um, it's, it wasn't obviously it wasn't my first system. Like you said, I'm a little bit older, but um, I remember when my brother first got it. It was like right after it came out, and uh, I watched him play a lot of games on that before I finally got my own uh, console of it. I got a PS One a little bit later of my own, but. Even so, I've played probably more hours on that than I have on, I don't know, a lot of other consoles. <laughs> it's probably my top three most played consoles still, even to this day. I mean, if the if the PS2 was never like a thing after this, this would probably be the most played console for me as a kid. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but, I didn't have I mean, PS2. You know, so I mean, goddamn, PS2 fine. just, you know, PS2 just took a gun to pretty much every console at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. All right, so enough of this, you know, bullshit about nostalgia. Let's see what fucking games are on the thing. So we actually wait, don't wait, know. Wait, 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 wait. Slow down, what? slow down. I haven't even looked at the list either, but I think we should start. Oh, okay. With what Dude. should be on there? What do you think should be on? What there? What should I? Well, I mean, not all. Not you don't have to name it's... twenty games, but name like a couple on the top 10. of my head. You could think of ten that should be on there. Uh, one Final Fantasy. I mean. Okay. Well, the th the thing is, it's supposed to, <clears throat> if it's called a, a PlayStation Classic, then shouldn't it have mm -hmm. classic games on it. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, I mean <laughs> duh. But I just mean know? like, in, like okay, yes. But if we're gonna go from like me or yours perspective, like oh, let's just put ten sick ass RPGs, and that's you know, we'd be good. We'd be well, good with that. Well, I mean, but, that's just a but, small portion of gaming. You have to for take the library for everyone, right? So yeah. Yeah. In a general try and sense, a bunch of different types of games so um, can you think of 10 games that should be on there just in general even if they're ones you haven't played just ones you think should be there uh i would say gran turismo gran turismo okay uh a spyro game or crash bandicoot either or yeah. either or not both mm, I'm trying to think probably a uh oh wasn't there a wasn't there like a real popular puzzle game on PlayStation? I can't think of it at the top of my head. Mm, that's PlayStation exclusive. I don't know. Okay. Honestly. I'm, okay. I'm, maybe it maybe didn't have it. Maybe didn't have a whole lot of puzzle games. Yeah, RPGs. Like, I remember, like, I mean, from, yeah, RPGs. Disney. I can think of a shit ton. But well, which most... ones? Like like a, okay. If the RPGs, what are like the three that should be on it? A Final Fantasy, probably seven, okay. just because it. It, it, sold, it sold like fucking gangbusters on yeah, it. It's the most popular one by far, yeah. Um, maybe Lunar. Lunar, okay. And uh, I'm actually looking at my PS1 games right now. <laughs> okay. uh, oh, I mean, it's not an RPG, but I just remembered it. Metal Gear Solid. I mean, Definitely you'd be yeah, a fool not to put that on there. Definitely. Uh, another RPG. Not Ark the Lad. I've never even played that shit. No. Um, Vagrant Story. I heard's really fucking good. But yeah, you gotta, no, no, like, not. You no, I'm think sorry. Not not Vagrant. Not Vagrant Story. I was thinking of uh, uh, Xenogears. Oh, okay. Because I've actually played some of Vagrant Story. It's it's okay. Yeah, it's alright. Uh, let's see what else. There's other ones. I could think of some more obscure sort of games, but I wouldn't call no, them. No, no. I wouldn't you call them classics, the that, though. I'm saying you got to pick the ones that should be on there, like you expect to be on there. Resident and... Evil One, I guess. <clears throat> Resident Evil One, okay. Maybe Dino Crisis. Maybe Dino Crisis, okay. Mm. Uh. I I I I wouldn't say it was popular enough because it wasn't a exclusive, but like uh. I was gonna say Glover, but that's you know who who gives a fuck about that game? Is Glover on PS One? Yeah, it is. I had it when I was wow. a kid. I know it's on the N sixty four also though. Yeah, I didn't know because I I never even played it, but I didn't know. Um. Mm. Oh, 
the probably the first Grand Theft Auto game. Yep. Okay. I mean, granted, it hasn't aged nearly as well as like say Hell, three or San Andreas, but it's still, you know, it still has some. Still a classic. Yeah. It's still a classic. God damn, was that ten? <laughs> I don't even know. I mean, it was probably more than ten if we listed all the ones you just said. But I, some of the ones you said are ones I also agree with: Final Fantasy VII, Legend of Dragoon, Metal Gear Solid, GTA Two is the one I would pick because it's better. But I mean, either one would be fine. Um. I definitely think Twisted Metal should be on there. Oh yeah, that that fucking preferably series. number two, but because it's way better. Like by far, everything is better on Twisted Metal too. Yeah. Um, Crash Bandicoot specifically should be on it, um, even if it's just the first one. Um, yeah. This Spyro, I would say also, but I just don't think they're gonna have both. Even though it totally should have Spyro also. I I mean. Uh, because you know they had the both trilogies on I, PS. I mean they're they I, I, yeah, one. but they're I mean they're both platformers, you know that but are still those are both like like if it was Nintendo we'd be fine with like four Mario games. Yeah, that's no shit. not a big deal. So Spyro and Crash should both be on there. I don't think they both will be on there, but no. I, I think one, no, I don't. I think they both should be on there. Um, what did I say already? I already said no gear. Um, I had a couple more in my head. I can't remember what they are. Um, what is another big name one that I'm forgetting? Oh, Resident Evil, duh. Yes, yep. Resident Evil should be on there for sure. Yep. Um, and uh, I, I can, oh, maybe even Silent Hill, maybe. Uh, I, I I could imagine it, yeah. Because that's a different company. It's like Konami. Is the Konami going to be represented on there? I I don't know, dude. <laughs> I, I guess Metal Gear Solid. So yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. I can't think of any other racing game that's really PS1 than Gran Turismo. Yeah, exactly. I think Gran Turismo is probably a good pick for the, if there's going to be a racing game. Um, other than Twisted Metal. Well, yeah, but that's a different kind of game completely. I wouldn't know. I never played it. Twisted Metal or Gran, Gran Turismo? Uh, Twisted Metal. Oh, Twisted Metal is a, is a, uh, a car destruction game. You kill each oh, other. Oh, I see. Huh. So it's it's pretty damn fun. Anyway, I don't want to think of more games if I don't already have a list, but that's a pretty good yeah. starting point for stuff we think should be on there. And I already guarantee there's going to be some weird shit on there that I probably don't, don't expect. And I also expect stuff that's pretty basic that I, like... I mean, if you look at the NES Classic, that's some basic shit you know, on there. You know, it's almost a granted. You know, stuff like fucking Contra. Like, who doesn't like that game? Yeah, exactly. If you find someone that doesn't like that game, it's because they're shit at it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, so so yeah, we can we can go through the games wanna, now. Okay, you let's just go through them one at a time, or you want to just list them all out and then talk about them? We we can. I'll just list them all out. I'm just on the PlayStation right. website right now, so all right, let's let just, just go through them then. Let me just scroll down here, because I I honestly haven't looked at it either for the purposes of making this video. <laughs> okay, so oh, so this is coming out December third, actually. Uh, so pretty, pretty I thought it was I thought it was going to come out this month, to be honest, for okay. ninety nine ninety nine. Why they don't just call it a hundred dollars is beyond me. Because ninety nine ninety nine. Yeah, it has to do with marketing, <laughs> but I think it's stupid. <laughs> it's uh, always everything. Now, yeah. Okay, here we go. So we got Blast Arena, Toshiden, Cool Borders Two, Destruction Derby, Final Fantasy VII, Grand Theft Auto, Intelligent Cube, Jumping Flash, Metal Gear Solid, Mr. Driller, Odd World Apes Odyssey, Rayman, Resident Evil Director's Cut, Revelations Persona. R4 Ridge Racer Type 4, Super Puzzle Tournament 2 Turbo, what the fuck kind of game is that? Siphon Filter, Tekken 3, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six, Twisted Metal, Wild Arms. Um, on the top of my head, what the fuck is Battle Arena Toshiden? I've okay, never heard of that. Really fast, so I'm going to bring it up myself as well. I, I heard most of it, but I want to make sure I can like recap it while we're talking. But yeah, uh, that first one, what was it? Say it again, the... To the... Battle Toshiden. Arena Toshiden? Battle Arena Toshiden. I, I I've never mean, once heard of that heard game. Now. Let me look at the like look at it so I can see what the fuck we're talking about. Okay. So Battle Arena Toshiden. Yeah, I definitely haven't heard of that one. Um I assume it's some kind of It's a fighter, a, it looks yeah, like. It looks like a fighting game, yeah. Is it made by who's it made by? Is it the Sony game? Anything that was made by Sony, like themselves, that's the stuff I kind of expected. 
Well, how is there no Gran Turismo though? They own the the IP. So there's no Gran Turismo. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I think that's kind of stupid. Damn! How come I can't fucking find the right list? All right, here we go. Got it. Okay, so Battle Marines Ocean Din, Intelligent Cube, I believe, is a puzzle game. So we were talking about what puzzle yeah. games would be on there. Intelligent Cube is on there, so that makes sense. Yeah. You also brought up that Super Puzzle Fighter Turbo. You don't know what that is? That I, is the. I don't uh, have a clue what it is. It's a street. It's like a Street Fighter puzzle game crossover type of thing. That sounds goofy as fuck. It's goofy as hell, but fun as hell. Hmm. It's very. It's actually really fun. Okay. Uh, I'm not surprised it's on there. It's actually a really popular game. Hmm. Um, okay, so the other stuff, stuff that makes sense. Rayman, I kind of forgot about Rayman. That actually makes sense. Yeah, it does. Siphon Filter, I definitely forgot about because I never played them, but that makes sense. I have it, although I've heard it's sort of a inferior Metal Gear Solid game. It, and that's exactly what I've heard, and also why I haven't played it yet. Uh, Metal Gear Solid's there, as expected. Yep. There is Twisted Metal, good. Yep. Grand Theft Auto 1, which is fine, not even though I would prefer 2. Same with Twisted Metal, I wish it was 2, not 1. Um, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six, I guess I didn't even know the first one was on. I, one. I, I, I thought it was an old PC game. Yeah, it might be a port of it, actually. Oh. I have to look into it. It's possible. Because mm. there's PS1 ports of PC games like Diablo, even. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, cool Borders 2, that makes sense to round out the types of games but who cares that, that sounds <laughs> lame as fuck like that sounds it's very generic to me so it's like all right <laughs> well that's what i said there's gonna be generic shit on here i knew it and that's definitely one that's generic along with destruction derby which is weird that they had destruction derby and twisted metal because i'm pretty sure they're a similar type of game where you're just driving around trying to destroy each other pretty sure it's similar uh huh Okay. It's cool that they put Tekken 3 as opposed to Tekken 2, because Tekken 3 is definitely better than 2. Yeah, by all means, but the best of the trilogy or whatever. Yeah. Um, definitely weird that there's only three RPGs I count here. Final Fantasy 7, Wild Arms, and Persona, which is out of nowhere. Well, it says Revelations Persona. Oh, it's Persona. It's the first Persona game. Why does it have the word Revelations in front of it? I don't know. But it's the first Persona game. Isn't that game, is. like, expensive as fuck? Kinda, yeah. Let me just look it up real fast. Like, a physical copy of it is definitely expensive, yes. The first Persona game. that That's probably the selling fucking point right there for anybody who... I, I think I heard it's, like, that. over $100. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the selling point right there. Holy fuck! Otherwise... <laughs> Jesus tits. <laughs> Guessing it means it's quite a bit... It says complete. It's like $167. Well, there you go. Boom. What the See? fuck? I was just going to say, out of all this right here, the only like big time God selling damn. point. Now, like when it comes to rare games, that's the only one. It's, well, I don't know about all these. Some of that, these might be rare. But I don't that know. game is definitely out of my fucking price point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's pretty uh, ridiculous. If I, don't, if I don't play it on this classic, fuck, I just emulate it. Which kind of leads me into another thing. Uh, do you think this will be able to be hacked or modded at all? Someone will figure it out, man. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how. Probably if it has. I haven't looked at like the specs or like how the, the console looks, but does it have like any slots for memory or anything? It says. It says a compatible USB AC adapter is required to use this console. And it says USB. it's not included. I don't know why it wouldn't be included. So. What? It doesn't come with an AC adapter that it requires. <laughs> I might, I might be, I might be getting the wrong take of this, but because that doesn't make a, a shit ton of sense. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like you can't even, you it comes out of the box not ready to fucking power on. <laughs> you need the power cord. <laughs> I think I'm reading something wrong here. <laughs> okay, I was about to say that isn't that would make no sense. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> there has to not, be some way to power it on. They're not that fucking dumb. Like, even if it is the USB to put, way to power it on, that would be fine. But as long as it comes with it, that, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. And, an and another thing I have to think about is, um, I, I mean, basically, these are just, um, basically, this is just data on a hard drive. That's essentially what this mini console is, just like the SNES Mini and the NES Mini. Well, yeah, as long as it has a USB port. 
it should be able to be able to have stuff added in. A I mean, if I game. if I had to guess, I probably should have looked this up. Isn't like the average PS One disc take up like I don't know three hundred kilobytes or something? Is Let me look kilobytes? that up. Let me look that it up so more, I don't sound might... like a dumbass. I think it's more than that. I think if it has to be in megabytes, it can't be kilobytes. That's too small. Oh yeah, I, I meant to say megabytes. My bad. Yeah, it's got to be in the megabytes because I'm pretty sure when I used to play PSP games that were you know PS1 games on the PSP when I download them they were a few hundred megs. Okay, games. yeah, here we go. Uh, varies a lot between games. Some are as small as 120 megabytes, and others like Final Fantasy VII are over one gig. Okay, well, that's, that that kind of makes sense. Split it between three discs. Yeah. yeah. So we'll say around a couple hundred megabytes, maybe. Yeah, about 300-something megs was like the, a normal full disc game that took up a lot of space. So maybe we can assume maybe there's, I don't know, five gigabytes of actual hard drive on the console. Mm-hmm. And with that, you could probably squeeze in... I mean, people are probably going to figure out how to hack this because people always find a way to hack. Oh, they're most likely not even going to be using the uh, you know the internal hard drive to put stuff onto it. It'll be more like you plug something in so you can emulate. Oh, I see. Through. Yeah, so you yeah. Can use, you can have any hard drive with any game and play whatever you want. I didn't even think of it. I didn't even think of it that way. That's how they use. That's how they use the other consoles, right? Like the NES and the SNES and but, all that shit. As someone who actually owns them, I have already seen videos how you can hack your Super Nintendo without doing anything to the hardware exactly see <clears throat> it's not like it's a difficult thing it's just a matter of do you want to do it <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh... okay I, I don't think uh, even though yes it is a pretty nostalgic thing to me i don't think it's going to sell as well as the nintendo mini consoles did it will not it because will not. you know you know, price people. Point too high, not enough games. Yeah, I do think the That's, price point is a little bit high those are, here. Those are the two things I see already. Price point too high, not enough games. If it had maybe, I think if it had thirty games, because then they could add in probably yes. ten more really, really yes, big they games. Yes, could. I bet you it would be much better selling. And I, I'd, I'd probably buy it then. Yeah, exactly. Cause as long as it was like quality. half of these, I would say are worth it, and then the other half is like, who cares? <laughs> well, I mean, I look at it, and you know, naturally, for somebody like uh, you and me, you know, not everyone has a library of these old games. Exactly. Well, I don't have See, most of I these. Have... Honestly, I don't have most of these. Like a, like a, a physical copy or anything. Mm... Or even like a digital of most of these. Okay, I have 7, Metal Gear Solid. I think I have Grand Theft Auto. I, I have Resident Evil, the GameCube remake, which I think is the superior version. So oh, yeah, I don't really it's, need the original. It's much better. Uh, I got Siphon Filter... I think I actually have a disc of Tekken 3, so I have maybe five of them. Mm -hmm. yeah, in terms of physical copies, I have one, two, three, four, five, six of them. So, And they're mostly the same ones you have, other than I have Twisted Metal, for sure, and Metal Gear Solid, for sure. I really think they should have gotten rid of Destruction Derby and Cool Borders. Well, they just do not I'm, sound like that good a game. I'm looking at the list of like that, like the actual games, like to see who makes them. Sony made the Battle Arena Toshin one. They made Cool Borders. They made Destruction Derby. It's not a surprise. Like they're they're published by Sony. Sure. So anything that was published by Sony doesn't cost them anything, and that's why I see so many of those type of games on here that makes sense like even this weird jumping flash game which i have no fucking clue what that is i i've heard of it it's basically like a first person platformer it looks the i don't know if you've seen the cover to this thing i'm looking at it right now it's, it's really weird fucking weird yes it's like i i can't tell if i'm looking at a a being or just like a bunch of knickknacks glued together or whatever this is i, I do think it's interesting <laughs> however i mean I don't think I'd call it a classic. I think that's actually a rare game. Oh, uh, it probably is, because I've never even fucking heard of personally, it. Personally, I'd rather put Tomba on there, because I think that's a unique platformer that doesn't get it as much love. And I actually I own the shit, so... Yeah. Tomba would make sense, yeah. I didn't even think about that and, one. And the thing is, they technically already own Tomba, because the the developer, Whoopi Productions, went out after they made the second game. So, mm -hmm. I mean, like, that's the reason they have it on the PlayStation Network store to begin with. Yeah. 
they have the rights to it. And we yeah, can... so they could have easily yeah. just popped it on there. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of stuff missing on here. Uh, it looks like instead of Gran Turismo, they went with Ridge Racer, so that's why that's not on there. Which is interesting choice. I, honestly, the most interesting game kind of probably looks like Persona. It is. I told you that's the only one that's that's even the one only one that makes me think about buying this. Otherwise, I it's a definite no for me. Hmm. I mean, Wild Arms. I heard it kicks ass. I'll probably just get a physical copy of it. I almost got a physical copy, but it was a little more expensive than I wanted to pay. But I do have digital on PSN. And I've already played it before on the PSP a long time ago. It was pretty good. But I've also played the second one already, too, and I have that. Mm. But, yeah, just saying, like, most of the stuff I haven't played on here, I don't want to play, most for the most part. Or I don't know if I want to play, because I don't know what the hell it is. I gotta wonder if this is gonna set some sort of a precedent for... Maybe there's gonna be a PS2 mini classic, or... I think that's I mean, kind of... Sells well, hell yeah, there would be a, pre I mean, a precedent for it. But seems I don't a know how weird. how reasonable making a PS2 classic. Would yeah, be. I don't, I don't think it. The size. It of certainly it has be. the. You bet your ass it has the library of it, but it doesn't oh, have. Library. But I mean, like, to emulate it all through one console. And it doesn't really be, have. Uh, it doesn't really have the nostalgia that drove these past mini consoles, also. Yeah. I mean, I think it might be too soon for a PS2 classic, is what you're thinking. I, I mean, goddamn, they stopped making PS2s in like what 2012 or something. Like that's an insanely crazy. long time to run a console. It was pretty ridiculous. I know. I remember. I don't remember the year, but I remember it was a long time. Uh, um, I'm not yeah. sure. I have much more to say about this. I mean, I'm just more amazed at what's missing than than what they picked more than anything. Yeah. Cause there's no, you know, I didn't even say it. Say it, but I, it should be there. Is Legend of Dragoon? Uh, do I you know why? That? It's made by Sony. Is so that? So it's a Sony game. I might be it's thinking of Legend of Lagaya. No, 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 no. Doesn't the cover Legend have like a guy that has yeah, like has... a dragon in the background or something? I think there's a dragon on front. And, and he doesn't he have like, red. yeah, like red, red armor plate. Yeah, red armor with like a red headband. Okay, I think I bought that recently for fairly cheap uh i want to say like eight dollars even so that game should be on here it's a sony game like yeah yeah by sony like yeah why, i remember that why is why is wild arms and persona on here not that i don't like them i just think that legend of dragoon should probably be on here so yeah there should be 10 more games there should be legend of dragoon there should be a tomba there should be a spyro even there should be uh, Gran Turismo. There should be mm, maybe I didn't even think about that. Uh, where's Tomb Raider? Oh, the wow, original Tomb Raider. Even, we didn't even say Tomb Raider. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Although it's, I, it's I think pretty archaic did. nowadays. Like the yeah, tank they, controls. I don't, think they would put, I don't think they would put the first one. I think uh, they would put the second or third one. But they. I don't. The first one sucks ass. <laughs> the tank controls almost killed the game for me. I don't know if the second or third one's actually any better, honestly. Then maybe that's why I didn't put any of them. But I know the first one is an ass game. I tried to play it. I have not finished it. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. I guess. Hmm. Honestly, for the for the average person, I say wait to see if you can actually like hack or mod or mod the console before you get one. That's what I yeah. would say. I don't think this is going to sell out, so you probably no. have a chance to get one even after it comes out pretty easily. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I doubt they're going to be bitchy like Nintendo and just, you know, under under supply these. So Yeah, I don't think so. I think there's going to be too many of them and people aren't going to buy them up fast enough. Probably going to go on sale. Uh, I might even see them at a... I, I've actually seen a couple of Super Nintendo minis at a local, uh, what do you call it, like game store. You know, used nice. game store. I've seen Already. a couple there before. Nice. nice. I think they're charging, oh, I don't know, $10 under the retail, which I think is fair. I mean, yeah, they're definitely still worth it. I mean, I'm still holding that hope that they do, I don't know, they're not going to do it. Like a better one with more games, but that's not No, right. no, I don't <laughs> think that's realistic. Yeah. I, I kind of wonder... And I don't know if it's been leaked or not. Do you think they're going to make a... Do you think Nintendo's going to make an N64 classic or some shit? 
I mean, now that they made a PS1 classic, it, like, you know, I think it's a matter of time. Nintendo but, would yeah. be like, fuck it, why not? But the thing, the main, but the thing the, with that, there's only like 10 really good games on that console, <sighs> in my opinion. No, you could do 20, but even then, it's still going to be missing shit. I already know it. Yeah. I worry, I worry even with 20, though, there's not going to pick the stuff that it should be because of licensing and all that fun stuff, so. Uh, it'd probably be pretty difficult to get Banjo Kazooie on there since Microsoft owns Rare. Yep. That would probably be the one that should be there that won't be there. Uh, because Out that game melts faces, so. It's definitely the one that should be. But, yeah. Uh, so, uh, I'd say probably wait, see what happens. I think the price yeah, is a little bit too high. I don't know if I can even mod the shit yet. If I can, yeah. that might influence me. That's all I have to say about it. Yeah, I, I, I'm. It's a definite no for me, dog. All right, so I guess that's that. Thanks for watching all. Uh, we're probably both going to put this video on our YouTube pages, and I will have a link to his channel, and he'll probably have a link to mine. So, uh, I guess, uh, that'll be all. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. You want to say anything, Funk? Uh, no, that's, sounds about good. Thanks for watching the video and, uh, peace out.